What's going on, guys? Steph Monk here. Today, we're going to be talking about some rather interesting information concerning Fortnite as we head into November, December time frame. Uh, basically, what we're going to be talking about is what we're going to expect uh, in between the timeline of right now as we head into Fortnite Remix Chapter 2 leading into Chapter 6. So, as you guys can see from Fortnite's official blog, uh, coming soon, progress your Fortnite passes by playing any experience. Fortnite continues to evolve with new experiences like Lego Fortnite, Rocket Racing, Fortnite Festival and thousands of creator made islands. Soon, Fortnite's past progression systems will change to award players regardless of what they like to play. By December the 1st, which is more or less going to be the start of Chapter 6, all passes in Fortnite will progress simultaneously by earning XP from playing any experience. The Battle Royale Battle Pass currently levels from XP gained in any experience. The next pass to get this treatment will be the upcoming Music Pass. Formerly known as the Festival Pass, the Music Pass will also progress from XP gained from any source starting on November the 2nd, with Fortnite Festival Season 6 and the next season of Fortnite Battle Royale, which is of course uh, the Remix Chapter 2. Uh, on December the 1st, which is more or less going to be a uh, Chapter 6 time frame, the change will also be applied to the Brick or Treat Lecor Pass. So more pass simplifications. Similar to how the Battle Pass currently works, music and Lego passes released after December the 1st will change to one track with both free and premium rewards. As you progress through pass tiers with XP, you'll be able to claim rewards on the unlocked pages of the active pass you have. Rewards you may be claimed in non-sequential order on all passes in the same way that you can do with a pal pass now. You'll be also be able to set each pass to auto-claim the next reward when it becomes available to you. So if you think about um, how Call of Duty did with uh, Modern Warfare 3 towards the end of their uh, battle passes, if you will, basically we have the option to whether to either let the game give us the reward depending on what level we're on or we can still unlock the items in any order is basically what it's saying. To simplify things, once all passes progress through using XP, they will be retiring festival points on November the 2nd, followed by battle stars and studs on December the 1st. That's, the, that's chapter 6. Once these end currencies are retired, the battle pass, music pass and lego pass will simply unlock rewards for you to claim as you earn XP. You'll still need to purchase a Battle Pass, Music Pass and or Lego Pass separately to access all premium rewards in each patch. Stay tuned, we'll soon have an easy way to snag all premium passes at once. Want something from a pass you haven't unlocked yet? Instead of buying levels to unlock rewards, you'll now be able to directly purchase pass rewards up to the allowed limit without progressing to them on any active pass you've purchased. So that's really interesting to say the least here guys. So when will the move away from Festival Points Battle Stars and Studs happen? So as you guys can see, just to simplify, Festival Points will be retired when the Music Pass goes live on November the 2nd, Battle Stars will be retired on December the 1st, Studs will be retired on December the 1st, at which point the Brick or Treat Lego Pass will begin to progress from XP gained in any Fortnite experience. So that is really interesting information here guys. Can you tell what you guys' first opinions are of this in the comments? Now, early on today, we actually had a uh, last set of challenges, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, heading into Battle Royale, Festival Mode, and Rocket Racing. These are the ones that you guys are currently seeing on screen, which is currently in-game as of right now at the time of this video. Also, uh, on Fortnite's official uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter or X account, as you guys can see, they've actually given us a slight little hint of information as to what's going on with the... Um, remix Chapter 2 live event that's going to be happening this weekend. So as you guys can see, yes, there is an event which they'll release in for one for tomorrow. Yes, they're going back to the Chapter 2 island with splashes of content from the earliest seasons. And yes, Remix comes with a tuneful twist. Now, when I say about tuneful twist, this could potentially, it's either going to be related to the current festival mode or, whether, or it's rumoured to be somewhat involving either Snoop Dogg or uh, from what we understand, Marshmallow. Because people around the world, including well-known Fortnite content creators like Ali for example, uh, received uh, rather interesting teaser boxes, if you will, uh, with all sorts of uh, pins and things like that in them. And one of them was a tape, a tape cassette or a one of those old, really old style vinyl CDs, if that makes sense. And on the back of that, it actually does read um, Marshmallow's 
it has been remixed by Marshmallow. So that is really interesting. Rave Mellow was also mentioned in one of the uh, Fortnite official blog posts as well. So we can assume that Marshmallow will be somewhat involved at uh, during this upcoming event this week. So that's really interesting to take note of, guys. Uh, for those who may not be aware, this event, uh, which is called named Kiln in the in-game files, contains a Grant BB tag, which could stand for Grant Backbling. So this was noticed by SpushFNBR on Twitter, or beg your pardon, on Twitter, yeah. Uh, Kiln is the name of the, uh, code name of the live event. That's where I mentioned about Grand BB earlier. It will be in six phases, and there will be a night-night, which is the downtime period for this event. Now, concerning it has six phases, and we currently don't know which phase we're currently in, if any at all. So... We'll have to wait and see what's going to be going happening over the next few days. We'll have to uh, keep an eye out as to what's going on. Uh, I think we're pretty much just under three days away, if I'm not mistaken. So we expect it to be happening on this Friday, November the 1st. So we'll have to wait and see what's going to be going down then. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, courtesy of Wensowing, Lula World and Osirian, the uh, video will be played on the Restored Reels screen. Um, from what we understand, it'll have timed events from Party Royale effects, effects that happen at specific pre-scheduled frames, and several POIs will get destroyed or unloaded during the event. Uh, apparently, the players will work like Team Rumble, like old events if it wasn't scrapped. The Rift Beacon will activate during the event. Um, we can probably assume it's probably going to be the Rift Beacon in the middle of uh, Restored Reels. For those who don't know, there's a, the screen of uh, Restored Reels. Uh, has been completely removed. Uh, basically, um, all the Halloween themed stuff at Restored Reels has all been removed. It's been replaced with the, like, pretty much an empty version of Restored Reels, if that makes sense. Um, there are also a lot of missing data layers with UMAPs that are currently being encrypted. There is a Shockwave Sky event with encrypted textures. So the timed events are, for example, if there's a beat drop, then the sky will change since they're scheduled to happen when that specific frame is played which is uh, rather interesting to say the least. Um, also, I think I've pretty much um, covered this already, but also there'll be a lot of effects you will be used, including graffiti in the sky. Not quite sure how that's gonna work, but uh, some POIs areas will be either destroyed or removed or altered. So again, very, very interesting information. A concert might be pretty much involved with the upcoming live event. The live event plugins will use features from Fortnite Festival. Timed events are used, which were mostly used for Party Royale concerts. Even if a concert is involved, that event is not only a concert. There may be a lot of proofs, but it still could be wrong to take this with a grain of salt. So that is really interesting there. But keen to hear what you guys' piece of opinions are this in the comments. Uh, chapter 6 live event. This is going to be the one that's going to be headed in the back end of November. The update is likely to be released between November 22nd and 26th, but this is not confirmed at this present moment. So, uh, I'll keep you guys updated with anything that goes down on that specific live event as we, do, uh, as we move from um, Remix Chapter 2 leading into Chapter 6. So, very exciting things to look forward to here in the Fortnite universe, guys. Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. Can you see what you guys' views and opinions are? Now, if you decide to purchase anything within the item shop, as it stands right now, we've also got all sorts of very interesting um, items, all uh, Halloween themed. We've also got Leatherface from um, the well-known uh, movie franchise. Of course, from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So we've also got Michael Myers. He is also in the item shop. Of course, the Disney villains. So you've got Captain Hook. There's also Maleficent and Cruella de Vil. And don't forget, guys, also the Symbiotes bundle, which includes Agony and She Venom. So you can either collect them all at once, or you can um, buy them separately. Of course, the original Venom bundle is also in the store with Eddie Brock. So we've also got Stranger Things. You'd love to see that. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you want to purchase anything within the item shop, make sure you guys use code deathmonk 2 It does first appear after every two weeks, so make sure you guys keep putting that back in. And I would thoroughly appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Until then, peace out.